Button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right Yo escapes and graphics we are back in the building with another GTA 5 my tutorial for you and today we are going to be installing Lake Louise 50 kilometer edition this is an add-on for SP and for 5M we're only installing the SP today though okay this one is created by one flyer shout out to the creator when you get down to this page what you always want to do is read the full description after you're done doing that come up here where it says current SP current and select the green arrow to download now let's get into the requirements we are going to need open 4 and uh, we will not be installing open 4 but I will leave it linked down in the description to a video showing you how to install open 4 if you don't have it already and you will also need no boundary limits we will be installing this today okay so make sure that you download this as well so once you have your requirements installed and your no boundary limits and Lake Louise downloaded on my left hand side I have two downloads one is Lake Louise the other one is no boundary limits on my right hand side I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up I have all of my requirements installed and ready to go uh, let's go ahead and start off with Lake Louise all right let's open up that folder inside that folder we are going to have a mods folder two text documents and some images all right now if you look back over at your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory you are going to need a mods folder for this all right but you don't need to create one if you don't have one so if you don't have one you can just go ahead select the mods folder right here inside Lake Louise folder and you can just drag and drop it over here to your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory if you already have a mods folder go ahead and open up the mods folder Go through update x64 dlc packs and you can go back over here to the mods folder go through mods update 64 dlc packs and you can just select the dlc pack drag and drop it over to your dlc packs all right once you have done that we are going to need to add this to the dlc list but before we do that let's go ahead and head back to our directory right here and let's go back to our downloads and now we're going to go into the no boundary limits folder open the no boundary limits folder inside that folder we want to select these two that I have highlighted and we're going to drag and drop those two over to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory already have it as you can see now that that is done what we need to do is add our um, Lake Louise DLC to our DLC list we can open up the readme the install readme and you will see that there is a item line right here that we could copy all right so go ahead and copy this item line right here once that line is copied minimize now let's open up open four all right open four is open on the right hand side before we go any further make sure you have edit mode turned on right here let's start off on the side column select update then select update.rpf then you're going to have this red banner is going to say copy to mods folder select copy to mods folder after that's copy to mods folder select common then select data scroll down to you see dlc list.xml right click with the mouse select edit then this open for text editor window will open up scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to paste that same line that you copied from the readme going to paste it right underneath the last item line okay paste it right here once you're done pasting it go ahead and select save after that is done select file close all archives we can minimize any other windows that we might have open and run the game all right once you spawn into the game what you want to do is uh, open up the map you want to make your way over down here towards the airport if you teleport right here down to the edge of Los Santos International Airport, as soon as you get down here, you are going to see the map above you. All right, you're going to see the trees and the terrain. Since you're looking right towards the map, you can just go ahead and teleport forward because you're going to land on the map. All right, that's why we have the no boundary limits. 
and as you can see right there I am on the map so this will probably be the more efficient and quicker way to spawn on the map now I could go ahead and uh, use menu to uh, take my character on the road so as you can see this is it right here and there is a lot of road okay we'll drive for a little bit just to show you all right let's spawn a car out here go to my saved vehicles and use balls of steel there we go so my balls of steel truck all right so let's go ahead and uh drive around for a little bit So uh, this is a pretty huge map, man. You're going to be driving around for a uh, pretty long time, man, just to get all the way around this map, yo. But we're going to go ahead and end the tutorial right here. But if this helps y'all out to install this map or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. E and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding GTA 5, y'all. This game's in graphics. Me and Big Bowl and Ass Frank, we are out of here. Until next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.